For today's video, we are going to talk about how to solve problems on business loans and consumer loans, especially amortization and mortgage, and we are going to explain everything in details. So what are the different terms that you need to remember in order for us to solve problems on business loans and consumer loans? First, amortization method. It is a method of paying principal and interest on installment basis, usually of equal amounts at regular interval. And when you say mortgage, it is a loan secured by collateral that the borrower is obligated to pay at specified terms. Collateral mortgage, it is a mortgage on a movable property. Collateral, it is an asset used to secure the loan. An outstanding balance is any remaining debt at a specified time. And those are the different terms that you need to remember in order for us to solve problems on business and consumer loans. So let's start and let's have an example. On example number one, Mr. Garcia borrowed 1 million pesos for the expansion of his business. The effective rate is 7%. The loan is to be repaid in full after one year. How much is to be paid after one year? So to solve the given problem, let us identify first our given. So let us have the 1 million which is the present value. And then we have the annual rate, which is 7%, or if we are going to write this one in decimal, that is 0 0.07. Next, we have time, that is 1 year. And then we have number of conversion period in a year. Since we have 1 year, we are going to have annually, so the number of conversion period is 1. So to find the value of N, that is the number of payment, we are going to use the formula N equals M multiplied by T. So we are going to have 1 times time, that is also 1. So 1 multiplied by 1 is 1 period. So this will be the value of N. And to find the interest rate per conversion period, we are going to use the formula annual rate divided by number of conversion period, that is M. So let us have 7% or 0 0.07 divided by number of conversion period, that is 1. So it will give us 0 0.07. And to determine how much is to be paid after one year, that is our future value, let us use the formula Future value equals present value times the quantity 1 plus interest rate per period raised to N. So let us have the present value which is 1 million times the quantity 1 plus interest rate per period that is 0 0.07 raised to N that is 1. So let us write 1 million. And then 1 plus 0 0.07 raised to 1, that is 1.07. And to find the future value, let us multiply this one. 1 million multiplied by 1.07, it will give us 1,070,000. So this will be our answer. On example number 2, a person borrowed 1,200,000 pesos for the purchase of a car. If his monthly payment is 31,000 on a 5-year mortgage, find the total amount of interest. To determine the total amount of interest, let us identify first our given. So let us have the principal, which is 1.2 million pesos. And then we have the monthly payment which is 31,000 pesos and then we have time that is 5 years and then we have number of conversion period that is monthly so we are going to have 12. And to determine the total amount of interest, let us find first the total amount paid. So let us have 
total amount. Let us simply multiply the monthly payment, the time, and the number of conversion period. So let us have 31,000 multiplied by M, that is 12, or the number of conversion period in a year times time, which is 5. So let us have 31,000, 12 times 5, that is 60. 31,000 multiplied by 60, that is 1,860,000 pesos. So this will be the total amount paid. So to find the total amount of interest, let us find the difference between the total amount paid and the principal, which is 1.2 million. So let us have total interest that is 1,860,000 pesos minus the amount of mortgage or the principal that is 1.2 million. And if you are going to subtract this one, it will give us 660,000 pesos. And this will be the total amount of interest. On example number three, if a house is sold for 3 million pesos and the bank requires 20% down payment, find the amount of the mortgage. To determine the amount of the mortgage, the first thing that we are going to do is to find the down payment. So let us identify our given. So let us have the cash price which is 3 million pesos and then we have down payment rate that is 20% or 0 0.20 in decimal. So to find the down payment, let us simply multiply the cash price and the down payment rate. So let us have down payment equals cash price that is 3 million multiplied by down payment rate that is 20% or 0 0.20 in decimal. 3 million multiplied by 0 0.20, it will give us 600,000 pesos. So this will be the down payment. And to find the amount of the loan, let us simply subtract the down payment from the cash price. So let us have amount of loan that is cash price which is 3 million minus down payment that is 600,000 pesos. So 3 million minus 600,000 pesos that is 2 million 400,000 pesos. So this will be the amount of the mortgage. This will be our answer. On example number four, Ms. Rosal bought a car after paying the down payment. The amount of the loan is 400,000 pesos with an interest rate of 9% compounded monthly. The term of the loan is three years. How much is the monthly payment? So to determine how much is the monthly payment or the regular payment, let us identify first our given. So let us have the principal, which is 400,000 pesos. And then we have the annual rate that is 9% or 0 0.09 in decimal. And then we have time that is 3 years. Then we have number of conversion period. Since we have monthly, so the value of M is 12. And to find the number of payments, that is N, we are going to have the formula N equals M times T. That is number of conversion period multiplied by time. So let us have 12 times 3. It will give us 36 periods or 36 payments. And to find the interest rate per period, we are going to use the formula J, that is the interest rate per period, equals 
annual rate, that is I raised to M, over number of conversion period, that is M. So let us have 0 0.09 divided by M, that is 12. It will give us 0 0.0075. And to find the regular payment, since we have the given principal, we are going to use the formula regular payment equals principal over quantity 1 minus quantity 1 plus interest rate per period raised to negative n all over interest rate per period. So let us substitute the given principal that is 400,000 pesos over 1 minus quantity 1 plus j that is 0 0.0075 raised to negative and that is negative 36 all over 0 0.0075 so let us add this one let us write 400,000 All over 1 minus, if you are going to add this one, it will give us 1.0075 raised to negative 36 all over 0 0.0075. And then, let us have 400,000 all over 1 minus 1.0075 raised to negative 36, it will give us 0 0.764148960606 all over 0 0.0075. So let us have 400,000 and then let us subtract this one. 1 minus 0 0.764148960606, that is 0 0.2358510394 over 0 0.0075. And then, let us have 400,000. Let us divide this one. If you are going to divide this one, we are going to have 31.44680525. And finally, let us divide 400,000 by this number. It will give us 12,719.2. 800. So this will be the regular payment. And to give you an idea what is outstanding balance, outstanding balance is any remaining debt at a specific time. And one method to compute the outstanding balance is to get the present value of all remaining payments. And this method is what we call perspective method. And basically, outstanding balance is denoted by B sub k that means outstanding balance after k payment so let's have an example an example number five mrs c borrowed some money from the bank that offers an interest rate of 12 percent compounded monthly his monthly amortization for five years is 11,122.22 pesos how much is the outstanding balance after the 12th payment so to answer the given problem, let us identify first our given. So let us have the regular payment that is 11,122.22 pesos. And then annual rate that is 12% or 0 0.12 in decimal. We also have number of conversion period. That is monthly, so the value of M is 12. And then we have time, that is 5 years. 
and to find the value of n or the number of payments we are going to have m times t that is number of conversion period multiplied by time so let us have 12 times 5 it will give us 60 payments and then to find the interest rate per period let us have i raised to m that is annual rate divided by number of conversion period which is m that is 0 0.12 over 12 that is 0 0.01 and let us have the value of k that is the number of payments which is 12 and let us have n minus k it will give us 60 minus 12 it will give us 48 payments that means we have 48 remaining payments and to determine the outstanding balance of 48 future payments let us use the formula outstanding balance that is b sub k equals regular payment times the quantity 1 minus quantity 1 plus interest rate per period raised to negative n minus k all over j that is interest rate per conversion period so let us have 11,122.22 times the quantity 1 minus quantity 1 plus j that is 0 0.01 raised to negative n minus k that is 48 all over 0 0.01 and then let us rewrite 11,122.22 times the quantity 1 let us add this one that is 1.01 raised to negative 48 all over 0 0.01 and then let us have 11,122.22 times the quantity 1 minus 1.01 raised to negative 48 that is 0 0.620260451 all over 0 0.01 and then let us have 11122.22 1 minus 0 0.62 0 to 60 40 51 it will give us 0 0.3797395949 over 0 0.01 and to simplify let us divide this one let us write 11122.22 if you are going to divide this one, it will give us 37.9739549. And to find the outstanding balance, let us multiply this one. It will give us 422,354.73 pesos. And this will be our answer. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.